video. Today we're going to be making the transition to four engine rooms. Now we've saved up a lot of keys there, so we're going to spend it all today. Now the plan is to go straight to flares and then Kavan. It might be good to go. Let's see, we'll get Kavan straight away actually, because Kavan's going to be good either way. Uh, he's gonna be the he's gonna be the troop that you want at the end, and that's as far as we're we're gonna be able to go. So what we want is to upgrade flares a couple of levels, and we might as well just max out Kavan to be honest. Um, so second wind is gonna be level four plus two. No point in upgrading anymore. Second wind is max. Flares are upgraded. Uh, we'll, we're gonna go up against some rock launcher bases, but we'll just save up our tokens for now, actually. No, we'll up twice. There. Now we're gonna spend... I'm actually gonna show you the base building, so we'll just build our four end room base. Not sure what the best base is right now, so let me just check maybe the global leaderboards. Let's scroll down a bit. Um, get someone close to our tech level and see what their base is like. Someone with a relatively high uh, win percentage. So let's see, 50, 55, let's see 60. Let's see what this base is. Okay, they're all... They're all like six end rooms. Five, six end rooms. Let's see. Uh, let's just go to our lo local leaderboard anyway. So top player. Okay, so... I don't think we have the buildings for this. We don't have the regular uh, boom cannons there. And we don't have the extra rocket launcher. But we'll see what we can do. Let's see what the best. Right now I think the best bet is probably just to do uh, a spread out base. And then once we get the boom cannons then we'll go up and do a base where it's like this way. Building along this way, building along there, and then rest building right there. Then we'll switch over to that kind of base. So for right now, uh, let's see, where should we put in shock launchers? We want to slow them down somewhere. We'll put something over there, for one at the center. We've got three rocket launchers. Let's make the best of it. We'll put it one there, one there, and we'll just put one. Let's see, should we put it? Come on over here. Say like that. Now there's no strategy. There's not much strategy here. This is just gonna be a quick base. We'll spread out our cannons. We'll put out some at the front. Let's spread out some machine guns all around the base. Some sniper towers. Now they might. Um, typically, th the best way to beat this type of bases is simply to walk over here and have them all spread out this way. So we want to try and minimize their build ability to do that. So let's put a same drawer over here. We'll put some buildings over here. Put this one. So they're all everything is relatively close together, which we don't want, but we have no choice. Put some stuff there. We don't want there. We've got loads of buildings up here. Let's put some at the front. Make it harder for them to land.
See, we're not. We're almost done now. So let's let's just pop this over here. Let's see if that helps. Uh, pop that over there. Now let's see mines. We do want to put them out in front so that the bombardiers are destroyed. So not too much. So bombardiers might go around this way. They might typically turn around there. Let's see, we don't have too much left. Now for the mines. Now mines I'll typically put in clusters of three because that's uh, likely to destroy the bombardiers. Now he might activate critters at the landing right off the bat so let's try and deter that. Let's put some over here. Now we don't have instant, tra instant training, so we might only be able to do one or two attacks. Okay, this is a quick base. Um, not much strategy, but let's see how we go. We do have three chests to collect, but let's see. We only we've only got eight bombardiers left, and then we have to wait for it to reload. So let's see how we get on. So we'll switch the troop from Captain Everspark to Kavan. He's max level. Make sure we're using the correct. Um, hero ability, so respawn. We don't have heavies yet, so this landing is going to be pretty tough. So we have, we don't need that many medics now that we have Kavan, but we, we will try one. So let's see over here. So let's put one, one, and just everybody out in front. So we'll shock things like the flamethrowers, which are likely to destroy our riflemen straight away so let's see we want to keep the simo shocked Basically, it could target Kavan and that would mean our attack is dead straight away without without our ability to respawn grenadiers I mean bombardiers apologies. so let's use our abilities let's respawn get some more heavies back into the field Perhaps we should have done a much better base like this. So we'll have a replay of how, how the opponent uh, attacked us and we'll get an idea of if we need to change up our base even more. But so far we've got almost all of our... Uh, so let's... Kavan might die there. Okay, no. He almost died. So we will replay the, replay the attack, the opponent's attack. See how our base held up and make any necessary modifications. However, we don't have the boom cans yet, so we won't be able to um, have a really strong base yet. So, opponents are one. Yep, okay, not much. I don't really expect to win when I just joined uh, four ERs, but let's see how we do. So, 2 minutes 17, I'm not sure if that's a good time. Maybe 2 minutes 30 would be better. Well, let's see how our opponent did. Oh, we actually won. Okay, an extra four, four star, uh, 15 stars there. So let's see how they actually attacked us and if our minds were correct. Let's see what they used. Now they also, uh, they were still using Sparky. And they use uh, the shock mirrors. So we'll just put it in two times speed and see how the base held up. So we've got a nice amount of coverage there with the rocket launchers, which is pretty nice. We've got shock launcher coverage. And let's see, it, seems, it seems that these mines didn't really do anything. Let's see. He kept spawning a lot of critters though. So he must have used up his GB there. And he even uses gunboat critter, uh, gunboat ability critters too. Not sure if he had uh, flares, 
he might not have. He could have flared right there after he destroyed the second last end room. Okay, that's a nice win. Do we have enough to... Okay, we do. We've got enough to get the ne next rock launcher, which is going to help us out. So, let's see. We might think about putting it over here. Over here, because the edge of that is going to attack over here. So, when they come in this way, the rock launcher is going to be attacking it. This one's going to be attacking it. That one's going to be attacking it, too. So, let's see. So can we do one more attack? Okay, we can do one more. We, should we replace it? Let's see. So, well, let's replace it. Okay, everyone seems to just have a spread out base. All the stuff out in the center. And then the engine rooms out around the sides. So, we may have to switch to this base if we keep seeing it. But for now, let's see. We'll spread out our grenadiers. We'll try and destroy the mines up front. Because we don't want the riflemen just to die out straight away from that. And then we'll... Now we'll release the riflemen. We'll wait until the the troops get into the base a bit more. Get into the center of the base. Before deploying Kavan. Or else he might die from, a, from stepping on a boom cannon or something. So we'll do a few shocks. That shock's going to add a lot of value. Shocking the shock launcher and the rocket launcher. So we'll put in Kavan. Let's do a shock. So there's another great value. Second wind. Let's throw some critters out. We typically want to save up our gunboat ability for respawns. See, we don't have too much trouble. We're getting by the base pretty quick, so let's keep this up. Let's do another second wind to get some more troops out in the field. We've got a lot of grenadiers up in front, so we should be able to get through this relatively fast. You know what, we'll just start uh, flaring. We might lose a few uh, troops there, but we've got so many that it shouldn't really matter too much anyway. Or it might. <laughs> we could kill, we could actually just kill. We could have just killed our uh, all of our troops there. But let's come on. They really need to destroy that uh, flamethrower and machine gun. Shock. Oh come on! This could be this could be costing me the match here. Okay, that was a very horrible time, but let's see how the opponent did. 1 minute 50 to beat. Yeah, yeah, no vibe. 1 minute 50 is just too slow, and he's got so many bombardiers and even medics to heal them up. Yeah, we almost had that, actually. So let's see, in terms of mines, he seemed to have walked through almost all, all the mines anyway. Okay, so one win, one loss at 400 room. That's fine. Let's take a look at the replay though, just a quick before we finish off. I know it, I know the video is already getting uh, 40 minutes long. So let's do 2x speed. So he bought one boat of shock ears and medics to heal up his bombardiers. He still bought Sparky to just bring that distraction. So, you know, Sparky versus Kavan. It's a toss. Uh, you can bring Kavan in order to bring back second wind. If you think you're going to lose a lot of troops. However, you can still keep Sparky if you want to have that distraction. And her passive ability to to bring up critters. Uh, which is probably what helped him here. Okay, I don't think I can do any more attacks. I'm not going to do any more attacks, so... Um, this is the first video in 400 rooms. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.